to start off with our first ingredient this is country style pork ribs um, it's basically a shoulder pork roast and the butchers they basically just cut them into to smaller strips so uh, go ahead and cube them up uh, this is actually six and a half pounds I got some company coming over and uh, we're gonna just have some good eats but uh, you do want to trim uh, cut them into smaller pieces so that way you can get the marinade all over it so let's go to the marinade okay so first I started off with five guajillo chilies and I got three serrano chilies in there I went ahead and boiled these for about 20 minutes I have them right here just cooling down so we're gonna actually be putting that in the blender pretty soon two limes one sweet orange a half of an onion now that before we put this in the blender we're gonna be quartering this uh, half of onion four cloves of garlic one teaspoon of chopped bay leaves uh, if you have you know whole bay leaves just go ahead and use about two of them one teaspoon of cumin two teaspoons of Mexican oregano two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and finally we're gonna be needing some tomato sauce and then we're of course salt um, I want to say roughly about two teaspoons because uh, when it comes to marinade wet marinade you want to make sure that the sodium level is a little bit higher because it's not going to transfer all into the meat so uh, just you know when you taste the flavor in the marinade just make sure that it's just a little bit more saltier than what you would like your food to be all right so we're going to take our hydrated chili pods and the, the serranos that i boiled up we're going to go ahead and place them in our blender now i, I took the seeds out of the chili pods before i uh, put them in the water if you want it a little bit spicier just go ahead and leave the seeds in there go ahead and add in our remaining of our ingredients yeah this this I made this one time and man this was a really great combination it had a nice flavor to it a little bit of heat sweet and quartering your onions really helps out uh, getting it blended okay and then the sweet orange man this flavor is awesome now when it comes to lemons or limes, you can use lemons if you don't have any limes. That's not a big deal. I use, I use lemon also for this recipe. Alright, let's go ahead and get the top on there and let's go ahead and give this a blend. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and add in our salt. I'll start off with just one teaspoon, but most likely it's going to take two teaspoons of salt. Alright, we'll go ahead and add in one teaspoon. This is fine kosher salt. Go ahead and give this a mix. Let's go ahead and check for seasoning. Yeah, it's going to need that other teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and give it a mix. Try it again. Perfect. Let's get our pork. Alright, so you don't want to overcrowd your, your bags. You want a little bit of space because you want this marinade to get all into the meat you want to try to coat every single piece of meat um, you know with the marinade now this marinade is roughly it, it marinates roughly about five pounds of meat this is a little over five pounds about like six and a half um, but if you're not if you're gonna be doing less than five pounds of, of meat just use half of this marinade and put it in the freezer put in a you know put in the remainder in the Ziploc bag put it in the freezer that way you can have backup you know Pull it out and marinate whatever you're good. This is good on chicken, um, good on pork. So we're gonna go ahead and drop in about half of this. And you want to make sure that this cools down. <laughs> this has been this has been out, you know, after I boiled the chilies and everything. So this isn't hot. This is you know room temperature. Yeah. So that looks like it's gonna be enough for this bag. Go ahead and seal this up. Let out some of the air. make sure that you get that marinade all over the meat now when it comes to letting it sit me personally if I have the time I like to do this the night before you know that way the the meat has a very good time to be able to sit in this marinade and it you know absorbs all those flavors that way when you cook it you know it's, it's fully marinated you got all the flavors from this marinade but uh, if you don't have the time to be able to do it beforehand go ahead and do this at least four hours um, you do notice a difference when you let this marinade sit same thing with all my marinades you know I like to do them the day before you know at least 24 hours uh, carne asada when I do carne asada 
which I have that on my channel too. I like to let that sit for 48 hours. You can tell a huge difference. How you you know just if you're gonna be cooking up carne asada on, on say Friday and you get off of work, just go ahead and you know marinate it on Wednesday. And by the time you, you cook it on Friday, it's gonna be awesome. But yeah, I don't have that time today, so I'm probably gonna let this for, uh, marinate for about four hours. Um, but like I did, like I did, you know said. If you can let this marinate for, for longer, at least overnight, that, that's best. But uh, I don't have that time today. But uh, let's get this in the fridge and uh, I'll actually see you guys out in the smoker when it's uh, time to cook these up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on the pit boss. And we're gonna go ahead and set it to smoke. And we're gonna change the P setting. This is, it's got a smoke setting. We're gonna change it to P6. All right, so we're gonna let this come to temp. And the wood pellets that I'm using, is a mixture blend of hickory and the fruit blend from Pit Boss. For the pea setting, uh, I said this a uh, couple other times in my other videos, uh, the pea setting is a smoke setting, um, depending on what number you have it. The lower the setting, the more heat, less smoke flavor. Higher the pea setting, more smoke flavor, less heat. But uh, the, the setting at P6, I've been finding that that works pretty good on uh, smoking up meats. Now that we have the pellet grill on, you want to go ahead and leave this lid open. Uh, when this starts off uh, letting out some smoke, that first initial smoke is some bad smoke. So uh, go ahead and leave it open and it'll just clear itself out. As you can see, it's starting to get a little smoky right now. But for some reason, I guess, you know, it's, it's got to catch those wood pellets on, you know, on fire. So it does put out like some really, really bad smoke. As you can see, it's getting a lot more smoke coming out, but uh, for some reason it sounds like a turbine kicks in and it just like clears it all out See, it's like real thick smoke but uh, that the fan did just kick on right now so it's gonna clear it all out right now all right once it clears it out just go ahead and close it up let it come to temp all right once it comes to temperature we're gonna go ahead and put in our meat now my company ended up not coming so I'm only gonna do one of these bags and I'll just use that other meat for another video Go ahead and uh, put down your pork. Kind of want to separate them. That way you get airflow going through them. All right, you want to go put these juices in a bowl. We're going to baste it. Once it starts to get a little dry on us, we're going to go ahead and baste this. So uh, just, you know, clean up a little bit. Now, it's on the smoke setting P6. So we're going to set a timer for 30 minutes and we're gonna let this smoke for 30 minutes. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and increase our temperature to 300 degrees. And we're gonna let this come to temp and then we're gonna let that cook for one hour. Now that we got the grill up to temp, set a timer for one hour, we're gonna come back and check on it. Uh, when we check on it in about an hour, expect a nice crispy exterior. So that's when we'll actually put a little bit of that sauce right back on there and we'll give it a wrap. So I'll see you then. All right, let's take a look at this. Yep, just as I expected. It's nice and dry. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this in a pan. Right, go ahead and remove them. All right, so we got our pork in a pan. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze some orange juice right on top. Just add a little bit of moisture into it. Now the marinade, now we're gonna just go ahead and cover to sauce these up. Just wanna drench these in the, let's go ahead and get a good coating of that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cover this up. Now, we're gonna let this cook. I'm gonna check on it in about 30 minutes. I'm gonna let this cook until that, that pork is pulled apart tender. So I'm gonna check on it in about 30 minutes. So it's closed up, let it do its thing. All right, so I actually let it go for about 45 minutes. And it's been resting for about, I wanna say 20. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, it smells good. It's super tender. Just 
pulled apart. Yeah, so that's gonna be some goodies. Let's, let's check how this meat tastes. Some of that juice. Man, this is so good. Sweet and savory. It's got a really good flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and shred this. Um, this drippings do not get rid of that. That is tons of flavor right there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and shred this up. I already got some bread toasted up. I got some um, bolillo buns or birotes, however you wanna say it. You wanna get some good bread, but I'll show those actually in a minute. But yeah, I'm gonna shred this up. Man, this is fantastic. This is some really, really good flavor stuff right here. Uh, do not get rid of that drippings. Yeah, this, this meat is just super juicy. I mean, uh, you got a nice little smoke green, but it's just super tender. Yeah, let's shred this up. Let's get to our sandwich. All right, let's make a sandwich. I mean, we got some wonderful meat. Really, really tender and just pulls apart like nothing. Okay, so this right here is a bolillo. I'm, I'm used to calling it a birote. Birote and bolillos are pretty much Mexican bread. Uh, this is what it would look like. But uh, I got both sides toasted. Uh, this side I toasted with um, mayonnaise. You guys see me do that on my channel quite some time. And how we're gonna build this is really simple. Like you would, you would get them at like, you know, Mexican restaurants. Just some tomato. Uh, we got some lettuce, uh, got some salsa right here, the, you know, fresh red salsa. And then uh, this right here, it's a half of a lime with about like a half a cup of uh, Mexican crema. All right, so let's go ahead and lay down some of our pork. Now we're gonna build flavors with this. So that's, that's like when it comes to sandwiches and hamburgers and stuff like that, I like to build flavors. So we got, already got nicely marinated uh, meat and then, you know, we're going to be adding in uh, fresh condiments. So we have our meat down. Now we're going to go ahead and add some salsa. You know, one thing I don't like uh, when I go to, like, say I do buy, like, a torta from the, the, the sandwich shops, I hate that they don't put salsa on there. You know, they give you, like, a little cup of salsa to put on there. I just, you know, just need a little bit just to, you know, add that, you know, layer of flavor right there. We're going to go ahead and cut some slices. It's going to add a nice creamy texture to it. So right before we hit it with a little bit of avocado, we're going to go ahead and put some crema. Now we're going to go ahead and take our spoon and we're going to scoop out our avocado slices. Now we get the perfect slices for your sandwich. When I put avocado on the sandwich, I like to hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now we'll go with our tomatoes. I like veggies. I am not picky when it comes to veggies. Finally, we'll just top it with some shredded lettuce. And then our bun. That right there, folks, is our Mexican pulled pork sandwich. Need to wrap it in napkins and just keep it together. But just by how everything looks and smells, this, if I had a restaurant, this is the food I'd be making. But yeah, time for the taste says y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This right here is winning. I'm gonna have to get my fat pants because that thing is a beast. And it's got packed with flavors. It has so much flavors. Look, I'm not lying. If I had a restaurant, that would be the type of food I'd be putting out right there. The salsa, the crema, you know, with the lime in there the fresh produce and that smoked pork. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. Now we can see future videos just like this. As always, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section so that we can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com to get the full printable recipe. That marinade is awesome. You definitely gotta try this one out. Now I have these recipes, they're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.